I am a five-year pancreatic cancer survivor. I'm a five-and-a-half-year survivor. I am a pancreatic cancer survivor for over five years. I'm an almost six-year pancreatic cancer survivor. Six-and-a-half-year pancreatic neuroendocrine cancer survivor. I was diagnosed eight years ago. I'm an 11-year survivor. I'm a 12-year. I'm a 12-year. 13-year. 15-year. 19-year. And I'm a 20-year pancreatic cancer survivor. The doctor said you have cancer. And when he said pancreatic, it was as if the earth stopped. You only read about bad things with pancreatic cancer. When you get a diagnosis like that, of course, it, it turns your world upside down. When I spoke to several medical professionals, it gave me the perspective that, you know, my life could be over very soon. And that I had approximately three months to live. The surgeon said to my family, if we give him chemotherapy, he's gonna be dead in six months. Let's just keep him comfortable and he'll probably go in three or four. The doctors recommended palliative care. I said, I want treatment that's bold, aggressive, decisive, and rapid. In those days, I don't know, it was 3%, 5%, some ridiculously small number, but I just said, somebody's got to be part of that number. Somebody's got to be in that 5%. Why shouldn't it be you? This is my journey, nobody else's. I took it on as a mission. My motto was leave no stone unturned. The main tumor shrunk. They cannot see the main tumor anymore on my pancreas. I get emotional when I say this, but I saw my doctor look down into the waiting room and he saw me and he went. I guess I'm one of the examples to show that you can survive even without the Whipple surgery. The advice I would give to somebody who's diagnosed is your healthcare team is critical. I've been in medicine for 50 years. You listen to the patient. It is important to trust and listen to your doctor, but it's also important to advocate for yourself. Nobody's going to do it better than you. Don't just listen to what the first person says. Find out what's best for you. And if you feel like your healthcare team's not listening to you, sometimes you just need another team. It's not a death sentence like it might have been 5, 10, 15 years ago. It's quite treatable. Every day they're coming up with different things. It seems like all of a sudden it's coming at once. Lost Garden, Let's Win, who are all getting patients information that is vitally important to their care. I think it helped me reading the survival stories. It helped me a lot. It seemed like there were a million different paths to success. That brings hope to the newly diagnosed patient, and that's why these videos are so important. I want to live, and I'm trying to run my life as normally as possible, which, shockingly, I've been able to do. My life Life obviously changed on a dime when I was diagnosed, but I can really tell you today, I don't think about it. I was able to survive it and resume a normal life again. My life now is fantastic. Just a better appreciation of life and how fragile it is. Having pancreatic cancer has really enabled me to uh, have open eyes to humanity. When I thought that I was going to die, people would ask, you know, what's left undone? And I'd say, I just want more of every single day. Just just life. I have just really grabbed onto life. There is definitely hope for people. Hope is everything you have. Hopefully I'll be here, knock on wood, for decades to come. You'll be seeing me at like 95 running around and causing trouble. There's always hope. They gave me none and here it's 13 years later and, and I'm here. Please, please, please never give up.